Yeah, commercial free start to your work day. It's Dave and Chapel. Mix of sunny clouds today. High near 92 right now, sunny and 81. And uh, we've been talking about it all morning long. It's time to announce our grand prize winner. We're doing a little contest on our Facebook page. Actually, a big contest. Our like, share, and comment. VIP, the Pepsi Gulf Coast Jam. And we got to say congratulations to... Tara Stanton. Yay! Yay! Woo! Poor Brandon Jason said, we have the worst sound effects in the world. <laughs> Sorry, low budget here. So, uh, congratulations to Tara. She's a VIP grand prize winner. Got a pair of three-day passes. Is VIP passes to the Pepsi Gulf Coast Jam. And hopefully you might have a chance to see our boy in studio here, Brandon Chase. Uh, you may remember him from the season five of The Voice. You've been in town all week long. And you're part of the uh, Pepsi Southern Original competition happening at Tootsie's tonight. And uh, you, you grew up in Texas. Yep. Now you're living in Nashville. And kind of a cool story. You had some issues when you were born and everything. You went well past what a lot of people thought you could do. Yeah. Um, two days after I was born, I started bleeding internally. And um, that led me to stop breathing 64 times wow. within a 12 hour period. And, you know, with that lack of oxygen, the doctors told my parents that, you know, I'd probably never be normal, that I could be blind, deaf, mentally challenged, all three of those things combined. Yeah. Um, I'd never be able to play sports. And um, I'd always be behind from, from the same, I wouldn't be at the same pace as my classmates. Yeah. I'd always be yeah. behind. And um, I ended up graduating high school at 15. Played any and every sport you can think of, and then went on to graduate college at 17. And you know, I don't say any of it to 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 act to, to sound like I'm bragging. I'm just yeah. saying it just because I truly believe I'm a miracle, and I'm, I'm here on this earth to be able to inspire and encourage other people. And What's an amazing so cool to be able to do that with my music. Yeah, and never you know, never give up. Like you said, yeah. you graduated early college, graduated early high school. You were, were on the run. Now, how was it? Because you you use Hunter Hayes, uh, the song on the Voice. You got picked by Blake. You work. How was working with Blake? Because you're a country guy, and Blake yeah. is right now probably the biggest guy in country. Oh yeah, um, you know that just just being in the same room with Blake that was incredible. You yeah. know, just because exactly what you said, he's one of the biggest names in country right now. So obviously he's doing something right. He knows what he's yeah. doing. Yeah, <laughs> something uh, working well. Yeah, you you can <laughs> definitely learn a thing or two from him. And um, you know, just just you know, like I said, being in the room with him was just so awesome. He's just such an infectious guy. You yeah. can't you can't be sad or mad around him. As soon as you get in a room with him, you're gonna be smiling. You're gonna be laughing. Did you make fun of his ladybug tattoo? <laughs> Everybody has to make fun of his tattoo. He's I trying did, to make it all actually. hip and cool, but yeah, no, <laughs> I mean, but that's I mean, been a, was that a dream for you trying to get on the Voice and, and be in that stage? Cause uh, it's kind of been an amazing thing because you're in that arena, you yeah. got the judges there. What's that feeling like? Yeah, you know, it 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 wasn't a thing that I ever thought I would do. Actually, um, I never really actually wanted to do like a singing reality show. Yeah. Um, so what made you go on the Voice then? Yeah, the Voice just kind of came up. Um, I was in a place. I was singing at a at a dance hall in Texas okay. um, ca called Cowboys in Arlington. And um, I, I was there for about six months, and things just th things were moving, but they just I don't know. I, I felt like I was still kind of just sticking around the same place. And yeah. I knew that that something else was you know on the horizon, and, and there's something else that I, that I was gonna be doing soon, and I didn't know what it was. And then um, just out of the blue, I got an email from The Voice inviting me to a private audition. Oh wow, and, um, that's cool. Yeah. You know, just felt like you know the timing and everything was right, so I just went for it. Very cool. That was uh, last season, season five, and uh, you work with Blake and everything. Now, did you have a chance to talk to the other judges, or I mean, I don't know the be behind the scenes, or were you just yeah. kind of secluded with the other people that you, were, were Blake's team? Yeah, you're pretty well. As far as the other contestants, you're you're all together yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, for a couple months before you even get to audition. Um, as far as the other coaches go, you don't really get to see them. Yeah. Um, just kind of like behind, behind you the scenes. You missed out on Shakira. And, so yeah. That was the worst part about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, they're, they're walking around. Like you see them, you don't yeah. really get to talk to them or anything. They yeah. so shake now, their hand when you walk off stage. Yeah. So that, I mean, so you got introduced to the country world and now you decided you yeah. need to move to Nashville. You said, what, about three months ago you're about in Nashville three months now? ago, yeah. So what's it like being in Music Row and, and all that stuff? I mean, are you just uh, out playing all the time? Is that, I mean, is that something growing up in Texas, doing all this, you ever thought you'd be in Nashville hanging out? Right. You know, I probably played more when I was in Texas. Um, I, I did the whole, the whole. I did all the songwriter rounds and, and yeah. um, played all the, a bunch of different venues and stuff before I actually moved. Okay. Um, I had made you know numerous trips, just driving back and forth yeah. from Texas, <laughs> and uh, you know that that long drive. I finally just decided to just make the move. Yeah. Instead of doing that drive every other weekend and and going down to play and, and whatnot. So, yeah, now that I'm in Nashville, um, most of my time has been consumed of studio, working on everything. Yeah, because you're working album. on your album right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, um, you know, been doing that and, and also 
you know, road shows and, and things like this here in PCB. So yeah, it's cool. Yeah, because you've been here all week long. You're doing some yeah. correspondent work and everything for the uh, Pe Pepsi Golf Coast Jam. That's kind of a cool deal. I know you've been working on your album. You got a new single. It's called mm -hmm. One, and uh, you're gonna play that for us in a little bit. Yeah, totally. All right, we'll do an acoustic version of that. Uh, and again, it's funny though. We have our intern. We call her out, and she's like, "Oh, there's a good-looking guy coming uh, to come into the studio." Uh, your fans are known as chasers. So, yeah. so Courtney, are you officially a chaser? <laughs> Of course. Of course she is. She's, that is the look of death she is giving me right now. Stick around. We're going to have Brandon Chase go live with one. He'll be over at Sissy's tonight, part of the Pepsi Gulf Coast Southern Original. You're going to be going against our good buddies, Barbed Wire Creek, now. I'm just going to throw you. Those guys bring it bring it hard, just right. so you know. So there's going to be some competition right. tonight. Let's okay. Go. So stick around. We'll talk with Brandon a little bit more and have him perform for you live with Kicking 103.5.